Well, in honor of Black History Month, today we remember one of the greatest artists of the 20th century born right here in Knoxville. Reporter Yvonne Thomas shares the colorful life and impact of Buford Delaney. Buford Delaney was born in Knoxville in 1901, but decades later, his paintings will be some of the most famous artwork birthed during the Harlem Renaissance. This is the last remaining Delaney home in the city of Knoxville, and many of his first drawings and paintings were created right inside of this house. We know many things about Buford from his artwork, but there's someone else that was behind his talent. Buford always had a gift. I think there's no doubt about it. I think it was a true gift. If I could attribute one person to his artist and him being who he has and was um, as a great artist, I think it would be his mother. Her desire was that her children would go on to do great things. And so she is going to be the one that initially encourages Buford and Joe Joseph as a child, a little boy in church, uh, drawing on Sunday school cards to, to craft their gifts. His mother is going to be born uh, a slave. His mother's mother is a slave. So much of that is going to be rooted in his background, if you will, and, and shaping a lot of uh, who he will become. And I think that's where the greatness comes from, is that resolve not to quit, not to give up, having you know, overcome insurmountable odds, even as a family, and watching his family do that. At times, Buford's life was like his art, varied, complex, and layered. You see, Buford didn't have a fairy tale ending story. Even though he gained more notoriety as an artist, he died poor. Now, Buford struggled with many things in his life, including racism, his own sexuality, and mental illness. Through it all, he showed us great courage, resilience, and love throughout his artwork. So Buford Delaney, for showing us the greatness that we all can create when we let love flow. Thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. What a great story.